What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are starting off this video in the kitchen because I saw a picture on Facebook of this recipe. Actually, the recipe wasn't even on Facebook. I had to kind of look it up, but the picture was and they looked absolutely delicious. It might be in the title, but if I don't put it in the title, they're shepherd's pie muffins. So first we're going to start off with some Grand's biscuits. You know, when I was younger and I had to pop this can of biscuits, it used to always scare me. <laughs> because of that big old pop. Now I have the, the regular biscuits, they're not the flaky ones. I wanted to use the flaky biscuits, however, I did read a review and it said the flaky biscuits like expanded a little too much. So what we're gonna do here is take your biscuit and kind of stretch it out a little bit, kind of like you're making a pizza pie. Try not to break it too much. Flatten it out. What's in the uh, biscuit? What is it? Butter. Oh, butter? Yeah. <clears throat> little chunks of butter. Butter makes pretty much everything better in the cooking world. Yeah. We got Jake behind the camera. It's Blue Gabe, who's my boyfriend, his 11-year-old son. Gabe is actually down south picking up our big mahi-mahi mounts that we caught in Puerto Rico. All right, so get close here. We're gonna put them in the cupcake pan, <clears throat> just like so. I'm very curious to see how these are gonna turn out. Me too, these are good. They look good. So here's what they look like. They don't look very flattering. I'm I'm very curious to see how much these biscuits are going to rise and how much space I'm gonna have to actually fill them. But we will find out together because this is my first time ever trying this. Therefore, I'm making a video to show you guys what it looks like and how they come out. So we preheated our oven to 425. We're gonna go ahead and stick these in there. And we are going to fully cook the biscuits. We're gonna probably leave them in there for maybe like four minutes, just until they get golden brown. You don't wanna fully cook them because we're gonna take them out, add our filling, and then put them back in the oven. I'm excited to see how these turn out. I know, I am too. I always see people getting really creative with like using like the croissant rolls or the biscuits and like making all these like concoctions and creations of food and dessert. I've seen people use the croissant rolls and like roll them in Nutella, like crazy stuff. But before I move on, this video is actually a split video with summertime snook fishing and shepherd's pies. So right now we are going to take it back probably about a month ago. Um, if you guys go back on my channel and see my tile fish video, golden tile. I think the title is catching fish in the deepest part of the ocean. Um, and it's funny because I am standing in shallow water holding the fish, but we actually had to run in because of the thunderstorms. But we took a break and we actually went snook fishing and filmed it, however I didn't post it yet because that video was so long. So I'm going to show you guys right now of myself, Blue Gabe, and our friends Adam and his girlfriend Kim snook fishing. So check it out. This will be a much bigger one. This is a target rich location. You guys, that was a rough ride in. We just hauled, but right now we're relaxing a little bit. We're jumping in the water. Gabe, of course, is snook fishing. He just caught probably about a 20 two incher, pounder. two pounder, yeah. He just caught a little snook. Um, but right now we're just chilling and we're gonna go back to the house. We're gonna fillet that tile fish yeah. and I'm gonna Duck cook it up sand. tomorrow. Let's see if you can hook one on camera. What are you doing over here in my hole? What? Uh oh. <laughs> there we go, boy. What'd you say? See if I can hook one on camera? Yeah, you got it. Now I gotta catch one. Dude, you just got smoked. Oh, he got one too. Oh, wait, that's yours. 
Where am I at? Am I over you? Under you? Oh, oh my you. goodness, look oh, at the knot. Gosh. Look at the knot. Rookie yes. move. You got all of in my spot. <laughs> you guys. I'm pretty sure I was over here in this spot. Don't get cut. Hello, Snook. Hello. Take a picture. Ready? Smile. All right. Didn't go. Oh, that's on Whoa. the end of your line. Oh, hey, Adam. oh hey, Adam. man. <laughs> you guys know I can't let Gabe one up me. Jacks. I think you're going to get a jack. You better come tight because they've been eating it quick. There's a lot of them sitting there. If you had a little Yozuri jerk bait and a smaller rod, you'd catch them every cast. Usually I keep the bail open, but I think I might close it this time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good try. Reel it in and throw it at the point. Yeah, I gotta get it closer. I think my bait, yeah, my bait swam out away from it too. No, oh, I got stolen. You got no bait. Let me go get a bait. Pretty sure my pinky toes broke. Oh, gosh, that hurt. I slid right into third base. Oh, gosh. I legit just broke my toe, I think. You're always breaking your toes. Oh my gosh, it's throbbing. Oh, stop being a baby. Hey, babe, remember? Oh, oh, that was like a, that was a, that was a nothing but net. What is this stance you got going on? This is the preparation stance. My bait is freaking out. That's a, that's oh, you got a bird. Oh, Great job. Hey. <laughs> Get him. Coaxed him out of there. Oh, that water is cold. Look, what is this? Mine. You better horse him, babe. <laughs> Who's gonna get it in first? Me. Oh, my all the questions, son. Uh, you gotta get him out of the mangroves. Uh, that's his snug. How cool is that? That was a tie. I won. And mine's bigger. Did I mention my toes broke? <laughs> Dude, this this uh this pays for running offshore. Oh, he's biting my thumb. All right, y'all. Who do you think? Who's is bigger? Oh, man, let's go I think Kelly's is bigger. <laughs> nope, nope. Mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you see that nonsense? I think Kelly's is bigger. I was wondering why he's shoving it closer. <laughs> Well, you got dad bought over there and behind you. I brought it for wuzzy. everybody across the nation. Buzzy, wuzzy, wuzzy. <laughs> he texted me the other day. He goes, I'm glad you're rocking the dad bot on YouTube for all of us. <laughs> it's turned right now. Oh. All right, baby, you want to catch the duck? Yeah, there, Let's see who the race. And the race is on. And... Three, oh. two, he's biting. Run wins. <laughs> Look how fast he is. <laughs> That was a fun day of fishing to say the least. Now this shepherd's pie is going to be a little different. I am using venison, AKA deer meat from a deer that myself or Blue Gabe shot either in Florida or Mississippi. So I have some ground venison right here with some added fat that I grinded up several months ago. Just pulled it out of the freezer. I'll go ahead and make all of it. So we are going to brown our deer meat here. We are going to add some chopped onion, some thyme. Now if you have fresh thyme leaves or fresh parsley, I would use that. Some parsley. Mm -hmm, about that much. 
and some garlic. You can use minced garlic. I just had this in the fridge, so I'm using this. Or you can chop up some garlic. Like that. Turn it up from shimmer to shimmer. <laughs> Simmer to probably medium. I don't want to overcook it too much because I am putting it back in the oven. But we're going to brown this meat and get it nice and hot. Then we're going to add beef stock. And what else? Oh, and our vegetables. So while that's browning, I just have some super easy microwavable mashed potatoes. I was trying to make this recipe as super easy as it can be. <laughs> so I'm not cutting up potatoes or mashing them. We're just going to use good old microwavable ones. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I had COVID a little while back and I'm fully recovered. I feel 100% fine. However, I feel like mentally, like I'm not like, I don't want to say not there, but like my motivation is down. My energy is down. Everything is just low. And for me to like film or like go out and do anything is like hard. <laughs> I feel like just, I just feel like doing nothing. It's crazy how, how I feel afterwards. I can't explain it, but I'm sure if you, you guys have had COVID or being sick, like, I don't even know how to explain it. You get like a brain fog, I guess I could say. But anyways, enough of that. Our meat is looking good. Go ahead and get close. That is our venison, aka deer meat, onions, thyme, parsley. But now we're going to add our vegetables. So I just have some frozen vegetables in a bag here. I picked peas, carrots, corn, stuff that you, you would usually find in shepherd's pie. About that much. I don't think I'm gonna use the whole bag. And stir that into our mixture here. Next step, beef stock. Now we're only gonna use probably about a half cup of this, if I can open it. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Got this. Jake's been doing push-ups every day. Push-ups, planks, crunches. Our potatoes are done. I got him a workout mat because he kept stealing my yoga mat. Got him some weights. He comes home from school and hits the gym in the house. Alright, we're gonna start off with about that. I feel bad for viewers having to watch us eat this. Looks so good. <laughs> Like your dad would say, can you smell it? But can you smell it? Unfortunately, I can't smell anything. <laughs> I can taste though, I'm not gonna lie, I can taste. All right, about two tablespoons of flour, just to try to thicken up the sauce a little bit. Kind of, I guess this would be kind of like be making a gravy. I'm not a gravy maker, I'll be honest. I never make gravy, not really big on gravy but I do know I use flour to make gravy, so I believe that's the concept here. Right, let's check in our biscuits real quick. Oh, oh yeah. boy. See, how weird is that? We might have to be topping our biscuits with, uh, topping our biscuits with shepherd's pie. Yeah. How did they do this? I knew this was gonna happen. Hmm. This isn't what the picture looked like. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, so I think what's gonna go down is hmm, we are going to make this a bowl of shepherd's pie with a biscuit on the bottom. Hmm. Because I didn't, I kind of figured the biscuits would do this, but in the picture they didn't look like this. So maybe next time I'd take the biscuit and like cut it in half, make them really thin. But I don't know. We're going to make do with what we got though. I think I might have solved my problem here. I'm taking a spoon and just pressing the biscuits out into a bowl. I think I might have put them in there a little too long for the first part, but that's all right. 
I'll just make sure all this meat is cooked. In the comments below, if you have any tips on like how to maybe not make that happen, let me know. If y'all ever made like biscuits into muffins, in the comments below, let me know. Our meat is sizzling. I believe shepherd's pie originally is made out of lamb, but here in America, we all make it with beef. Well, I shouldn't say we all, but like myself growing up and all my friends, when they make shepherd's pie, it's with ground beef. So any type of ground meat you can use, whatever you like. It's probably why they call it shepherd's pie because they use a lamb. You think so? Mm. Oh, all right. A little salt. Woo. A little black pepper. All right, I'm just gonna give this a couple more minutes and then we will add our mashed potatoes, our meat, and a little bit of cheese. So I'm gonna stop you guys right there because right now I'm currently editing this video and I've been filming for two years and I've never had this happen with a GoPro before. This one clip, which is the next step in the cooking process, the one clip has absolutely no volume whatsoever. The clip before it and the clip after it have volume. However, this clip doesn't, so I'm gonna have to voice over it. But basically all I do is I put the mashed potatoes in the biscuits on the bottom layer. And then I take some of the deer meat and the vegetables and I put that on top, probably about a tablespoon or two tablespoons. And then last but not least, I take the sharp cheddar cheese. I got the thin shredded and I top the meat with the cheese. Um, and then I stick it back in the oven for probably about four to five minutes just to, to cook it a little bit extra and to just warm everything up together and have that cheese melt. The next step, we're taking them babies out of the oven. All right, so they've been in there for probably about four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Mmm, nice and crispy golden brown looking. Redneck, what you want? All right, so we are gonna let those cools off. Cools off, we're gonna let those cool off. And I'm actually trying to plant mangroves over here. I pulled those off the beach today. I went to bathtub beach and went snorkeling with my mom. I would show you guys underwater footage of that. However, I got in the water, the GoPro didn't turn on. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Got out of the water, opened it up and flooded the GoPro. So I gotta go get a new GoPro before Gabe and myself will leave to go to the Bahamas in two days. So that's fun. Um, if you ever had a GoPro flood on you, comments below, let me know because I have no idea how it flooded. It just did. And they're supposed to be waterproof and we've had two GoPros flood so far. And I only went down about one foot. So I didn't go deep with the GoPro or anything, just flooded. But are you excited to try these? I'm very excited. Yeah? But what I wanna know is how are you gonna make plant these? Cause you need water. So Google said to soak them in tap water for 24 hours first. So that's what I'm doing. And then you're supposed to stick them in like a bucket with half sand, half soil, and a little bit of salt water or rain water. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can just get them to sprout first and then I'll go from there. <laughs> I just wanna see if I can get them to sprout because I love mangroves and I think they're super cool. Um, if I can somehow maybe get them into a bigger pot and like grow them, I think that'd be really cool. So they came out of the pan super, super easy. I just simply scooped them out and put them right in a bowl. I want to, oh, I want to bust one open for y'all. Get close. Oh. It looks mm. pretty darn good. I'll give you that. All right. Let's see if I Come on, Jake, give us a try. Hmm. I like it. it came Jake out really took way good. too big of a bite. <laughs> He was like drooling filming this video. Mm -hmm. mm. I love the biscuits. It's really good. What do you think, Jake? I don't like it. I love it. 
<laughs> I was like, like, Jake's like, what are you making? I'm like, well, I have some mashed potatoes, biscuits, deer meat, and vegetables. Can't really go wrong. <laughs> Who killed the deer? It was me or you. I don't know. It's deer meat that was in the freezer. Oh. I said earlier in the video, I was like, the deer's either from Florida or Mississippi. I don't know which one, but we're eating our deer meat. It's actually coming into hunting season pretty soon or summer is coming to an end. So this video is kind of like summer snook fishing rolling into our fall winter time. So these were just an experiment. Like I said, I saw a picture on Facebook and I was like, I need to try these. And they turned out pretty good. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with them. Um, but as for now, we are ending this video. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for subscribing and I will see you all on the next one. See ya.